Hi, in this video, we'll learn how to solve the following problem. Suppose x1 to xn are IID uniform 0 to 1. So, so what is given to us? We want to find the distribution of max x1 to xn and also its mean. So, y equals max x1 to xn. We want to find its distribution and its mean. And since all these x1 to xn only take values between 0 and 1, so y will also take values between 0 and 1. So let's find its distribution for values between 0 and 1. So consider any number a between 0 and 1. So the value of the CDF of y at a is probability that y is less than or equal to a. That's by definition of the CDF. Now since y is max x1 to xn, so we can write max x1 to xn here. Now notice that this max x1 to xn can be written in an alternative way. You can actually write it as x1 is less than a, x2 is less than a, and xn is less than a. The reason is because max of these random variables will be less than or equal to a if and only if of them will be less than or equal to a. So this is an alternative way of writing this event. The benefit of writing it this way is because then we can use the fact that x1 to xn are independent and we can break it into pieces like this. So probability that x1 is less than or equal to a, x2 is less than or equal to a, xn is less than or equal to a can be written as probability that x1 is less than or equal to a times probability that x2 is less than or equal to a times probability that xn is less than or equal to a. So this step follows from independence of xi's. Now since xi's are identically distributed uniformly 0 to 1, so probability of each of these events is the same. So we can just write it as probability that x1 is less than or equal to a raised to the power n. So basically this step follows from the fact that they are identically distributed. Now since x1 is uniform 0 to 1, so probability that x1 is less than or equal to a is nothing but a. So we only get a to the power n. Now once we know the value of the CDF, we want to find the PDF. PDF is obtained by differentiating the CDF with respect to A. So the value of the PDF will be n A n minus 1. If you want to find expectation of Y, well, expectation of Y is 0 to 1 because Y takes value between 0 and 1. And this is the density of Y. Again, so if we have to take a here, then n a n minus one. So that's the density. The value is the density da, and that's exactly expected value of y. So this is a simple integral. Solve it, you want to get n upon n plus one. That's the expected value of y. Thank you.